I'm going to let the consciousness flow. And maybe at the end of this, I'll make some sort of sense. Now, in my mind, I'm always thinking about the argument of quote unquote, real men. The argument is this man is a real man and this person is not a real man. And this is masculine and it is, or this is not masculine. Now, when people use the word masculine, it means I'm trying to summarize it so it makes sense. Analogous or relating to men. So sometimes people say that clothing or makeup or certain, I would say, predisposition, certain behaviors are masculine, masculine or not masculine. Oh, okay, now I'm, I just now I, got, I have all the preface out of the way. I can I can get deep into it. I get confused when people say, "Well, this is not masculine." Is wearing a tattoo masculine? Is wearing earrings masculine or not masculine? And does is it innate masculinity or is it defined by uh, a culture? So let's talk about uh, back in the medieval days, knights and princes, or we can go to uh, fictional worlds like Jedi's. Uh, they wear robes, you know, with long dress like things now people will say if a man wears something that's like a robish he's not masculine but if you go to other cultures they wear long dress like things you know probably don't wear pants and they're flowing at the bottom are they masculine <laughs> so I, I use all this to say to set up a, the, the the belief or the the i'm trying to paint a picture of a lot of things that people say are masculine or are feminine are subjective um is aggression always masculine? Can't you be an aggressive female and still be feminine? I don't know. So I, I just get confused when people say somebody's a real man or they're masculine or not masculine. I hear a lot of men speak and I like to listen to my brothers speak. And a lot of you, to me, aren't masculine. Now, someone else may listen to me speak and say, well, Charles, you're not masculine and you might be right. Me, knowing that I don't know a lot of things, I don't try to force you to see it my way because my way could be totally wrong. And I'm always making jokes about how other people see things from my opinion, because I think that everybody else knows more right than I do. So you guys are always telling people how they need to be and you shouldn't do this or do that. Now, if I was going to just give advice to men to, to be a man, how I think a man should be, I would say it's all about control. For me, the most masculine thing that you can do is to have control and to be premeditated in your action and don't do things based off of just how you feel when it's not going to be beneficial to you. Now, somebody can make you angry, so you feel like hitting them, and then you hit them. Now, depending on the circumstance, if it's uh, not agreed upon, like in a controlled boxing match, you could go to jail, it, and that's because you didn't think it through. Now, if you don't like somebody so much, and you want to hit them, and you want to send your, spend your life in a jail cell, then I would never be mad at you for engaging in something you thought about. I wouldn't recommend it, but it would make sense. So when I listen to a lot of people speak, um, I'm like, what is the purpose of what you're doing and how are you going to impact people for either your own improvement or their improvement? A lot of people don't. Like, I think sometimes people just want to speak because they're, you find it entertaining, just like me at this time. Um, I want to put out good messages. And some of the things I'm talking about, in my opinion, are pretty irrelevant. It's unnecessary. However, I still want people to think. So I put the information out there so people will think. And my whole purpose is to get people to question what they've been taught. A lot of you, like people talk about the red pill, blue pill, the matrix, black pill, white pill. Um, and a lot of people don't even understand the terminology, so I don't really use them. Alpha, beta, you know, gamma, sigma, does it matter? Like I'm, I'm doing what Charles does and everything that I try to do is to make my life better. If I don't see it make my life better, I don't want to do it. So you can see me and say I'm such a non-masculine man and I can accept that because who are, who am I to tell you what you think? Now, I can think I'm extremely masculine. Somebody else can think, well, he's extremely sensitive. You know, <laughs> got my Ralph Franz Vat going on. Talking about, you need a man with sensitivity. A man like me. <laughs> and I'm, I think, really, I, I am so um, oblivious. I'm so unempathetic. I, now, I can show empathy. However, I'm unempathetic. I can show sympathy, but I try my best really not to sympathize i can but i don't so does that make me more masculine or less masculine and that's what i find funny when i listen to people because you, the way you guys speak or, or girls or whoever 
you're so quick to say that's not ladylike or he's not a real man a real man would do this okay uh what's the real man to you uh a real man is any man is a man to me so now i may think you're a real man but you don't seem masculine that's because maybe you don't have self-control and i think anybody who can't control themselves in my opinion just is the way that I, I view things it's not masculine it's more on the emotional realm and i always equate uh emotional sensitivity to being uh like feminine and it's, I, I can go so deep into words like uh femininity believing in the female feminism and i'm not offended by any of that i'm offended when it comes to oppression i don't like misandry or, or misogyny i don't want to i don't want nobody to hate on men i don't want nobody to hate on women i don't want anyone to do that however some of you have um ample reason to hate on someone else and if if you feel that you need to have venom towards somebody if you just feel that um, they've done such a <laughs> something that's so detrimental to, <laughs> deleterious to your life that uh, you just want to condemn them then by all means let your let your rage flow through you for me it's never that serious i'm just trying to live uh you stay over there i stay over here i won't infringe on you you don't infringe on me i'm willing to work with people who want to work with me if you don't want to work with me uh work by yourself i said a lot now really it's nothing but it's i want you to think Am I masculine? You're like, you're flexing. Look, look, Charles. I'm masculine. Does that make me, the lifting a weight make me masculine? Or does shedding a tear, that one Denzel Washington dropped here, make me masculine? Or if I smile, if I, if I tell a woman she's beautiful, am I being too emotional? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just want people to think, and there's really no rhyme or reason. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dive in for another minute or two just to say I've made some content. You should be trying to live your best life. I don't think anyone outside of me um, can actually tell me how to be me, but you can help me learn more about myself. So in interacting with other people, I learn more about me. So I enjoy engaging in dialogue. A lot of you, including myself somewhere down deep, I don't know, uh, you look for guidance externally for who you need to be. And I, I guess to all, to, to a certain extent, that may be true for all because I have to learn what English is or how to speak to speak properly. And due to the way that I'm speaking, somebody's going to classify me. He's from this group, that group. He came from here. He came from there. You're going to think a certain way, which is all fun and, and games to me. For me, and I've done a lot of... As this is a, a video of absolute nothing to do with real men or masculinity. And that's what I'm going to call this because this is... I can't define what a real man is to you, and I, I don't know if I'm masculine or what, how you f view things. Me, I just want to be the best me, and what I'm going to do is go walking, and I'm going to drink some whiskey, <laughs> and I hope you're feeling great, and I'm done talking. Have a great one.